Now this is for the men. You can ask yourself, can you handle a woman's power and changing energy? Can you handle it when she just goes to her moods and one day she's full of energy, one she's, day she's beautiful, one day she's ugly, one day she just wants to like not talk to anyone. Can you handle that? Can you respect that, understand that that's her nature and just be with it? Um, can you accept that the feminine will always change? No matter what happens, she will always, always change. <laughs> um, can you allow her to get some rest and peace when she bleeds, for example, and love her blood? Can you love the woman's blood? Can you respect it for what it is? And I have another video on, on, on the menstrual cycle, so you can watch that as well. Um, can you feel your own connection to the womb, to the woman's womb? Because you come from the womb, men, as well. So can you reconnect with that, with that energy of the womb? And you can use your woman to do that. You can do that work together. Um, you know, this is why you have a woman, so you can connect to this life force again. Um, so, can you, again, can you, if you connect to the womb, you can, can, you can reconnect to the divine feminine within you, men, because we all have divine feminine and masculine, both of us. Um, do you feel, ask yourself, do I feel respect and awe when I see a beautiful woman walking down the street or do I just have some feeling of taking from her you know like I want to fuck her I want to do this I want to ha ha like this is not divine masculine this energy is very dark masculine and you all know what I'm talking about so can I just look at a beautiful woman and respect and 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 appreciate her energy and not and 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 feel it in your body if you want to take from her you know like you're 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 um the divine masculine doesn't want to take from the feminine. The divine masculine wants to protect. It, it, it just it, it has respect and it wants to protect the divine feminine. That's all it wants. So feel, feel how you respond to women around you and you will know if you're in your divine masculine or your, or your, div, or your dark masculine energy. Um, learn about the divine masculine and feminine energy, guys. It's really important to learn that. Um, there is a, um, a book that I would recommend to you. I think it's the best book ever written about this subject. And I think every man in this world needs to read this book as well as every woman, because it helped me a lot, even as, as a woman to read it. Um, it's called The Way of the Superior Men by David Data. Um, it's a very famous book. You should read it. Just, I'm not even going to say, just read the book, the, uh, the Path of the Superior Men by David Data, I think. So, and also he has some videos on YouTube, which I think would serve everyone on their path to divinity, just men and women. Like this guy knows what he's talking about. He's the only guy who speaks about this subject that like, I feel he's just such a pure freaking channel, you know, when it comes to divine feminine and masculine energies. Um, now, men, take each woman in your life as practice. Uh, mother, sister, uh, co-workers, your girlfriend, your wife, your, your child. Ev take any woman and, and, and kind of practice and see how you react to her energies. See if you can respect and learn and, and see, oh, okay, that's, that's the feminine. Can I accept that? Can I, can I live with that? You know, just ask yourself questions. See how you, see how you react to them. I mean, I mean, I can't do the work for you. I, I can just give you some stuff to think about, maybe open a door for you to practice, but you have to do it. You have to do the work. And it's really difficult sometimes because you are going to encounter some really ugly truths about yourself. You're going to look in the mirror and see some things that you might not really like about yourself. And you're like, fuck, I did not know I feel like that or think like that about the feminine, but let's change it, you know, if you want to. Of course, you don't have to. <laughs> Try to find the divine feminine in each of the women in your life. And just, and once you learn about the, your divine masculine, just give it to them, give them the protection, give them the, the, just be there, just be there. That's all a feminine needs. She needs a masculine energy to be there. Even if you have a little daughter, that's what she needs. She needs you to be there, to feel like you got her no matter what. That's it. Now, for the women, <laughs> um, when a man truly understands a woman and her nature, it is the most sexy thing for a woman. And we know that, like, right? Like, we don't need the bad boy. We just need a man who just 
there, you know, like full on power, you know, he, he just gets it, you know, he doesn't even have to say anything, like it's better sometimes that you don't say anything, just like be there, you know. So women, we also have to learn about our true nature, about our body, how it connects to everything, our blood, and we have to respect ourselves and we have to teach ourselves first before we teach our men how to respect us. Because again, most women don't even know what divine feminine is. So how, how are we going to expect our men to respect our divinity if we don't even have a clue what it is? So it's up to us as well. And it actually starts with us women, I would say. Um, so after we connect with our divinity, we can teach the men the one man or, or all men in our lives um, about it so they can have the opportunity to respect and work better with the energies of all the women in their life as well. Kind of like, uh, you know, we just got to teach each other. We just got to teach ourselves and each other. We're all relearning this. No one ever taught us what the hell is divine masculine and divine feminine. Like, we just learn that beautiful women are skinny and they're models and they get all the love and we, we make up stories as children and, you know, we each have our own stories and our own ideal about feminine and masculine, which is really mostly just lies and not true. Um, now, women, don't settle. Again, don't settle ever, ever <laughs> for less than divine masculine. Try to see beyond how a man looks like or, you know, the things that you think he should do. Just really, really connect to the divinity within you and then you will know exactly what you need from the divine masculine and uh, try to you know you're gonna have to ask yourself many questions like how did I how do I see love and relationships and sex and all these things and try to see does it fit me like or anymore or maybe I have to re completely erase everything I ever thought about those subjects and 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 build something completely new because most, most of us here on this planet basically have to rebuild our entire belief system, like from scratch, <laughs> you know, reprogram ourselves completely. Um, so, and men do the same. Your woman will probably drive you crazy and will test you all the freaking time. But if she is in her divinity and you grow and become be a better man with her, she changes you. You you feel you feel like she changes you, you know, and and she makes you stronger. Then stay with it. You know, it doesn't matter wh how many punches she will give you. I'm not saying physically. I'm just you know, like um, how many uh, punches and tests she will give you. Stay with her. If you feel like you're still growing with her, stay. You know, just be that rock. Be that divine masculine. Once you stop growing. If you stop growing with someone, then it's kind of like going to fade away slowly. But as long as you're growing and as long as you're both constantly rich in your divinity and just constantly doing it together, then just stay, just do it and, and, and love it, love every minute of it. Um, you know, a woman that changes you is worth it, basically. It's, it, that's, all, that's all a woman is. She, a woman will completely transform your world, the right woman. You know, she will shatter everything that you know and will make you she will push you to the best place that you can be like completely and even if she doesn't do it awarely she will just do it um and again don't settle for anything less than that men and women but especially women because when we allow a man into our body you know the man enters our body it does, it's not the other way around so we stay with all this energy and our womb is the portal and it's the most it's basically the entire universe it's the most powerful place in the world so we do not want to contaminate it with energies that don't fit us um i hope this helped and i hope this uh gave you something to think about and i love you so much thanks for listening i'm a servant of the mother and i pray for the awakening of all men and women on planet earth thank you